Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm so glad that you guys are here for me, are here for my video today because we are doing a daily plan with me. For my new viewers, welcome and my returning viewers, welcome back. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and on YouTube as Knit Plan Jess. So we are, like I said, daily plan with me. We are going to be daily planning for March 22nd and March 23rd in my daily planner. This is a happy planner day, happy planner daily. Um, I'm using the extension packs this year, actually, because this was a really cost effective way to build my planner since I found um, or I was able to get the extension packs for 50% off when they were on sale. So the stickers, we are going to be using Happy Planners New Wild Jungle. Um, if this one you did not see on the Happy Planner website, that's because it is available on Amazon. I do not know if it is an Amazon exclusive or if it's going to be available on at other stores or other websites, but it's not available on the Happy Planner website. And I don't know why. <laughs> I'm also going to be using some of JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. So she is releasing two new kits, among other stickers, uh, um, on March 24th as part of her small business release. And she sent me these two little kits, and they are beautiful. And I decided, I think we're going to use, oh my gosh, let's use the, the purple. I'm a sucker for purple. I'm also a sucker for pink, but I'm a sucker for purple mainly. And I really, really, really like these florals. So we're going to do a wild jungle and this floral spread. So if you guys want to check out how the spreads turn out, and if you want to plan with me, stick around. We are going to do the Happy Planner sticker book first. So, um, white out everything because that's what I do. Oh, and take the page off of the discs. That would be incredibly helpful as well. So this is the Wild Jungle. And as I mentioned, it is not available on the Happy Planner website. They actually posted on Monday about um, their spring release being available on Amazon. So, of course, I went to check it out because a lot of times there will be um, store exclusive sticker books or sometimes there are. There's like sometimes one or two. And I noticed that this one was not on the website. And so I, I commented on their posts on Instagram and they're like, you are correct. It is not available on the Happy Planner website. It is not an Amazon exclusive. They're like, but it is not on the Happy Planner website. So now there's kind of the question, what other stores are going to have this sticker book? So if you happen to see this one in stores, Drop me a comment. Let me know because I'm really curious as to where that it is going to be. But I will go ahead and link it down below. So if you want to pick it up from Amazon, you can. It's not. It is not on sale. The sticker book is not on sale and there's no like discount codes or coupon codes. Um, the Amazon link will be an affiliate link and affiliate link just means that I get a very small commission from Amazon when people use my link. It's no cost to the customer, but I just want to make you aware that I do get a very small commission. All right, so for the quote up here, this one doesn't have any big quotes. So I'm going to choose one of these. We're going to do the one 
that says stay wild. Sometimes I like just a really small quote. And then if I do like a really small quote, I, sometimes I even like to kind of white out a portion of the circle. So in that way it looks just like that. And you can all say hi to Duke. He's joining me today. He probably wants food. So he's like, come on, mommy, you can feed me. He's so cute. Why? How? How is he so cute? Why does he have to be so cute? Okay, we're also going to use this. Yes, do just sit your butt down right there. That's perfect. We're going to use this cheetah right there. Leopard, cheetah, what is it? <laughs> all right, so for this spread, um, I love that there's like all of these animals. I love these florals. I love the design of these of these, these animals. I think that they are so, so pretty. Okay, let's start out by getting super functional in this sticker book or in this spread. I want to use, okay, I'm going to actually find one to use with that color um, just so then that way I can kind of, you know, pick out my color scheme. I like these. I like these a lot. And this will also allow me to incorporate the florals too. Duke's butt is in my way. <laughs> so we're going to do this one first. Um, and to go along with this one, I think we're going to use this color for my header. So how is everybody's, is this Tuesday? How is everybody's Tuesday going? We're actually using both both of these, by the way. Or do we want a yellow? I kind of, hmm. Hmm. I need to kind of decide what I want to do. Okay, actually, I'm going to use one of these. So yeah, so how is everybody's Wednesday going? Uh, or Tuesday, it is Tuesday. My Tuesday is going, it's going okay. It's kind of calm, which is strange because Tuesdays tend to be a very busy day. So hopefully that doesn't, hopefully it doesn't like start out calm and then get super, super crazy. Hopefully it just stays calm. But yeah, I'm just working. I am, um, you know, kind of planning like what I need to get done today and just trying to figure all of that out. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm honestly just kind of like picking out stickers to use. Like I'm not, no super rhyme or reason sort of thing. I definitely want to incorporate um, some more of that, that copper foil. I love that copper foil. So we're going to use that because that has a little bit of copper foil in it. And I kind of want to use this one that says kindness is, is magic. I am trying to decide if I like these washi strips that are on the page where it is like the, this really, really big scene. So all of these are washi strips. So basically, depending on which which washi strip that you pick will depend on what it looks like. This one, I happen to get the cheetah's tail and legs. So, okay. <laughs> Works for me. We're going to use an important sticker. And I think I would also like to use... I kind of want to use like some more of the animals and I can always put them down here. Like I figured that this right here would be really fun to use. He will get in the way of my checklist, but I'm perfectly okay with that. Jessica, covering up checklist since daily planning in 2020.
Also, you guys, I'm kind of sad because my Happy Planner order has not has not shipped yet. And I'm like, I am way too impatient <laughs> to wait for it. So I'm just kind of sitting here like I'm really grateful and I should probably stop complaining, but I'm really grateful that I do have some goodies to play with because if I didn't, I would probably be going crazy. <laughs> so I'm just going to shut up and be grateful for what I have while impatiently waiting for everything else. And I may have placed an order on the Joanne's website. Um, I placed an order for the floral zip folio and I placed an order for, um, one of the sticker books. I feel like that there was something else. Maybe not. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I kind of feel like I would have to go back and search and you know, look at my order and, and see what else that it was. But yeah, but it was definitely the, the, the floral zip folio because I was, I decided that I was really regretting not buying that with my spring release order. But Joann's has it on sale for 40% off. So that was actually a win. And then, yeah, it was just deciding, okay, what sticker books did I not buy from the website that I wanted, um, which is, I think I did like the Homesteader, the large value pack sticker book. So I really wanted that one. And then, um, like I said, I think it was one more, but I cannot remember. We're going to use another one of these as well. So I want to incorporate more of that yellow too. All right. I think that that's, that's kind of cute. It makes me happy. So let's go with it. All right. We are done with March 22nd. Let's go ahead and start planning for March 23rd. And like I said, this one, we're going to be using Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. And this one, I definitely am going to need to incorporate other boxes. Let's go with the whimsy, a year of planning. And when I, once I need the boxes, I'll kind of figure out like what color, because I'm thinking that I might be able to find a good color in these ones. So we're going to start out by having this fun header on the bottom. Ooh, it's pretty. And I want to put like something right down here. Ooh, I like this book. And because I'm kind of thinking that I can like put that right there. So then that way you can't really notice where the washi ends and the fact that it doesn't go all the way over. And then this washi, we are going to go over, we're going to white out the priorities and we're going to incorporate it up here, but it's going to be too long. Thanks Duke. I'm glad I didn't have any, um, I'm really glad that I didn't have any craft knife over there opened up. Duke has this thing where he has to be, he has to like be near me. If I am home, he has to be near me at all times. Should I do it? Should I stick this to his butt? Okay, he just took it. No, give that back. <laughs> you can't eat the sticker. You don't eat stickers. Stickers deserve more love and respect than that, Duke. Remember that. All right, let's pull a quote from the essential quotes because I'm thinking that either I can find one that is similar colors or I just use a black quote. I'm perfectly okay with either one. So let's do What if I do this one? Although that's not exactly the same blue, so let's not do that one. I'm so glad that Duke's cute. 
Okay, let's do Ooh, we can use some of, of these, some of these boxes, actually. That's what we, what we are going to do. Okay, so first of all, we are going to use dreams don't work unless you do. Nope, that will cover up way too much of that. So instead, we're going to use the one that just simply says, love it, love this says something and that will cover up a little bit of the scallop but i think i'm okay with that and then let's do this one that says you are capable of amazing things and i really like that this one is going to like kind of fit really nicely inside of the circle but i do want to white out the bottom portion of the circle because I want it to look very intentional. I like that. Okay, I'm good with that. Also, we are removing this one that says love this. I don't like it over the scallop. I really don't. But we will use this somewhere else. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, well, it's about to go in the rip pile, so... I can't pick it up now, so it is stuck right there. Okay, I'm going to keep this one aside because we're probably going to be using boxes from it. But I want to use these as well, and I want to use these, and I want to use these, and I want to use all of these. Oh, I got two of those. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking of doing... I need checklists. That's, oh, that's the sticker that I, the sticker book that I bought. I bought, um, this was one from the winter release, I believe. But it was the checklist and trackers sticker book. Um, I think that one was on like a deeper sale. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that is the other sticker book that I bought. All right, so this one, what we're going to do is I'm kind of thinking of putting like this, like right here, and then this one is going to go underneath of it. I think Duke wants to jump back up here, but I'm going to white out where it says hello today, or actually I'm not going to. What if... I took some of these stickers and I basically like cut them to fit inside of this box. I don't know how well that this is going to work, but we are definitely trying it out because I love the look of like a sticker inside of the box. And I think that this would be really, really pretty. And it would also really help the box. Um, I mean, while it is just like a simple black box, it would help it coordinate better with the stickers too. So let me. Okay. I think that that worked. And then we're going to take this one. And this one is going to be a lot easier because all I have to do is just trim it a little bit. And. super super simple now here is one decision that i am trying to kind of like really decide what I, what i want to do so part of me wants to leave this just like that but the another part of me wants to use a box and maybe put like a box right there and then maybe layer some florals around it. So I think that that's what we're actually going to do. But I'm going to do a Franken sticker um, just because I feel like these are all too big. So we are going to take two of these. I'm kind of thinking like one. 
Hmm. We're going to have to get really creative with this, this Franken sticker. Um, this is probably going to get a little complicated. So what I'm going to do, I'm trimming this, but I am trimming off completely the black part or like the black edging because I don't want that at all. And you will see why. And so now we are going to take this one and I'm just going to very slightly layer it over this sticker. That's good. And I'm going to do this one. I just want to make it a little bit smaller because I don't want to go over that and see, look, there we go. Now I am going to take this one and I'm basically going to do the exact same thing where I'm going to trim off a black edge completely. I don't know if I have a purple that will, will match these and that's my only concern. And then this one, we're just going to like trim that just a little bit because I don't want to trim it too much. And this sticker gets to go very carefully over that. And then I think that that actually worked out really well. <laughs> See, this is like a true Franken sticker because we took two stickers and completely turned it into a different size sticker than what one of than like what one of them was. I just wanted to be a little straighter. Ah, I love it. Okay, so now, 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 this is what we have to do now because I also want to incorporate some of these florals so we're going to take this one and this one i'm just basically going to trim this off just a little bit oh my goodness see why don't i use like small business stickers more often in my my daily spreads i do feel like that they are a little bit more work because i am having to uh oh it's okay. We're okay. We're good. As I feel like I am having to like kind of get creative, um, especially when I do want to coordinate other stickers with it. But I also love it. Like it's just, I don't know. It's just fun for me. Okay. This one, what we're going to do, we're going to go trim and we're going to go trim. And I'm really hoping that I cut that at a 90 degree angle because we're going to throw in this little floral in the corner so then that way it like it kind of looks like that the box is made to be like that i really wanted to use these boots but i don't think i'm going to what i would like though is i would like some more of these ones in there I feel like that these florals are very, very minimal. So I want to incorporate some more of these. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go trim and we're gonna go trim. And then look, 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 look. We can do another one in the corner. I love it. Okay, hold on. I didn't, I didn't cut this at a very good 90 degree angle. How do you cut stickers at a true 90 degree angle? I need like a compass or something. Do kids still use compasses in school? That's what I want to know. All right, perfect. We have that. And next, we are going to use Mojo Jojo plans. Check it off. Because this is like my go to for. Ooh, okay. I think that this purple is going to be close enough. It's close enough. So we're going to use actually two of them. Ooh, we're going to use a light purple. Ooh, the light purple is almost like too dark. Hold on. Okay, I really, I'm probably going to pick that one back up. Yeah, I think I am. Because I do not see. Okay, we're, we're going to do a light purple and we're going to do one of the darker purples. Like I said, it's not a perfect purple, but I think it works. 
and I'm going to move this over just a touch and bring it up just a touch. And then last but not least, we need a header box. Oh, I'm so sorry. This, this sticker book got abandoned. Is there any black in this one? I need just like a small black here. We're going to sticker surgery again. Because I feel, okay, uh-oh. Okay. I have like so many sticker scraps that it's kind of ridiculous at this point. We're going to put this one together. I just want it to be a smaller box. And then I'm kind of thinking of, oh, I forgot that one. I wanted to use that one. That's okay. I was kind of thinking of like maybe like incorporating this one under it. So we could do like just something super simple like that. Look how pretty that that is. Okay, this, I, I like it. This one's done. I honestly like this spread more than this spread, but I like both of them. So yeah, I like them both. All right, let's go ahead and put this back in our planner. So we have, oh, hold on, punch. I got a punch. I got a punch through a book. Um, for the record, I would never destroy a book like this. Well, I would never destroy a good book like this. I actually want to get like a book that I can be able to tear pages out and use them like in my planner as like background and stuff. And I think that that would be super awesome, but whatever. So we have, first of all, March 22nd with Wild Jungle. This is a really, really cute sticker book. Highly recommend it. Um, Amazon, I don't know if it's going to be in stores, but it will probably be in maybe somewhere. Who knows? We'll find out. When people find it, we will, we will find out. And then I have Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop with, this is, um, I'm going to call it her purple floral collection. I don't know what it's truly called. I need to actually ask her, but I really, really like how this one turned out. And this one I paired with checklists from Mojo Jojo Plans box from a happy planner sticker book, um, a box from Mojo Jojo big boxes, and then a box from Whimsy Lux. So clearly stickers from everywhere. So thank you guys so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Um, also click that notification bell because you will get a notification every time that I post a new video. Thank you guys and have a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.